I thank all of you for joining me for this video. I am Mr. Ish. If we are to analyze the sine x, the cosine x, the area between the curves from 0 to 2 pi, if you are to graph it out, and we're looking here at cosine x, sine x from 0 to 2 pi, the area between the curves. A useful exercise for any student of calculus 1. When you're looking here at a graph, what are your main points, pi and 2 pi? And then the intermediate points, pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, you have a 1 over in there and you have a minus 1, the range of sine and cosine 1 to minus 1. When you're looking at the sine, it goes as high as there and right here. And your curve looks something like this. That's right there, your sine curve, your sine x. But when you're looking at the cosine, it starts here at 0 comma 1. It has x-intercepts of pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. And it's coming exactly as I'll show it to you right over here and right there. When you're looking at this area between the curve, you know you're looking at right over here. Then you're looking at all of this area right over here. And then you're looking at all of this up to right over here. But in some areas, the cosine is superior in terms of the orientation. In other areas, the sine curve is superior, meaning higher or lower. What are these intersection points right over here and right over here? We have to know them. If you did sine x is equal to cosine x, you can square these out and do all of that. Bring in the Pythagorean trigonometric identity, sine square x plus cosine square x equals 1. Do all of that. But you know sine and cosine are the same values of pi over 4. Sine 45 is equal to cosine 45. And you also know sine and cosine are the same sign in the first and the third quadrants. The 45 degree angle in the third quadrant is 225. And you know that's 5 pi over 4. So these are your intersection points. You'll have something right here, pi over 4, comma, something, 0 0.707. And here you'll have 5 pi over 4, comma, minus 0 0.707. Your intersection point would be this, comma, 1 over root 2. And then here, 5 pi over 4, comma, minus 1 over root 2. But you don't need to know these y values, you just need to know these x points. So you can develop your integral from all of this. Remember, your intersection points are right here, 45 degrees and 225 degrees. Along the x-axis, those are your intersection points. You have an integral which comes like this, from 0 up to 45, which is pi over 4. You can either keep everything here in radians or in degrees, it's up to you. You have a superior curve here, which is your cosine x, and the inferior curve is your sine x. And remember, superior and inferior are your top boundary and your lower boundary, respectively. If I'm saying superior, I mean the top boundary curve. If I'm saying the inferior curve, I mean the bottom boundary curve. Then from 45 degrees. From 45 degrees all the way up to this 5 pi over 4, which is 225 degrees, your sine x is the top boundary curve, and then the cosine x is the lower boundary curve. You're seeing all of that develop. The, basically, you can get mixed up right over here in developing the intersection points, because if you can't develop these intersection points, then you probably cannot do the question, but I'm sure you can. From here, 5 pi over 4 going up to 2 pi, you have your remaining part. In the remaining part now, your cosine x is the top boundary curve and then the sine x is the lower boundary curve. And you know it's always the minus sign coming in between. You just have to integrate this. When you integrate this, you'll get your answer for the cumulative area below the curves. When you're looking over here, what do you have? You have a sine x plus cosine x. You're looking here from pi over 4 to 0. When you're coming over here, what do you have? You have minus cosine x minus sine x and then you're coming here from 5 pi over 4 to pi over 4 and then lastly when you're doing this part you're basically having here a sine x plus cosine x again from 2 pi up to 5 pi over 4 and that's exactly how it will develop but this will require a little bit of work let's focus right here on this part for sine x plus cosine x pi over 4 and 0 what do we have we're having basically sine x is a 1 over root 2, cosine x is a 1 over root 2. You have to do the upper and the lower limit and the difference of the two. I'm just putting the upper limits first. Now I'll minus from that the lower limit. Sine 0 is a 0, but cosine 0 is a 1. This right here is coming from your first part right here. Now let's focus on the next part. Remember the aggregation of these intervals is always in terms of a plus sign in between because they have a cumulative effect. Let's look right over here. Minus cosine 5 pi over 4 will be a minus 1 over root 2, which will get negated with that. You'll have a positive 1 over root 2. Sine of a 5 pi over 4, you know it's a minus 1 over root 2, but with this minus will become a positive 1 over root 2. Now we'll put the lower limits. 
cosine of a pi over 4 you know it's a 1 over root 2 but you have a minus 1 over root 2 because of this minus sign sine of a pi over 4 is a 1 over root 2 but it's a minus here minus 1 over root 2 now all of this part has been handled now lastly let's do this plus sine of 2 pi is a 0 plus cosine of 2 pi is a 1 minus sine of 5 pi over 4 you know that's a minus 1 over root 2 plus cosine of a 5 pi over 4 so let's just put minus 1 over root 2 and that's exactly what it is so we have everything now in terms of the framework to take this to completion 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 is 2 over root 2 here you're getting a minus 1 here you're getting a plus 2 over root 2 minus 2 over root 2 with the minus becomes a plus 2 over root 2 here you're getting a plus 1 you have a minus 2 over root 2 hits with that you get a plus 2 over root 2 in the end when you cancel these things out they cancel out but you have everything else here in terms of positive you have 1 2 3 4 8 over root 2 when you rationalize it you will get an 8 root 2 over 2 which translates to 4 root 2 and that right there represents the area the cumulative area for everything I depicted in terms of the graph 4 times square root of 2 gives you 5.656 5, 5. 0.656 represents that area between these two curves depending on what was on the top depending what was on the bottom based on the intersection points before and after it from the domain 0 to 2 pi and everything has been solved for you here in a logical manner and that's exactly how you would go about doing it determine the intersection points set up your integrals and then do your calculations make sure you don't make a mistake in these definite integral procedures because sometimes that can be confusing but it's not a very difficult question and that's all I wanted to show you in this video. This answer is good. This answer is good. Have a great day. Bye.